A piece of aviation history has touched down here in northwest Arkansas, and you can take a ride on it this weekend in Rogers. Photojournalist Joel Katner and I hopped aboard what was effectively referred to as the Tin Goose to experience it for ourselves. This is a 1928 Ford Trimotor, and the Ford Motor Company actually built this airplane to launch aviation in America. It was a first real mass-produced airliner. Legendary automotive titan Henry Ford saw a future beyond the roads and turned his attention to the skies by building these planes for the purpose of transporting mail from coast to coast. But as it turns out, people wanted to fly the friendly skies as well. Experimental Aircraft Association pilot Rand Siegfried brought the plane here to the Rogers Airport so you can take history for a ride. This airplane was just like it was in 1928. It's a time machine. It will take you back to first class travel in 1928. Our pilot's not kidding. This is actually a very luxurious situation. We look at this first class travel and it's amazing. As he said, a trip back in time and you look at this, it is really something else to think that this is how people got around in the lap of luxury back in the 20s and 30s. And as you're sitting in there, you got big windows you could look out. You don't have anybody crowded next to you because you got room around you. It really was a time when things were classy, things were nice, and things were good. Of course, you can talk about it all you want, but it's more fun to just strap in, take off, and fly. She flies very well. She'll do anything you want with grace and aplomb, much like a, a nice older lady, as long as it's exactly what she wants to do. You can fly the Tin Goose yourself because it's here on tour through the weekend at the Beaver Lake Aviation Terminal in Rogers. You can book tickets online or at the terminal. Go to nwahomepage.com to learn more about how the plane operates and how you can fly it.